Mm-hmm. Well, now, welcome to... Hello, gorgeous. Hello, booty bops. Let's get started. Luke, I am your mother. Yesterday, we made a bunch of logos for parallel, logo, initial logo ideas. I wanted to present maybe like uh, five to eight options just to get a feel of which direction they want to go in. So here they were. And so far in yesterday's polls, number three and number five are winning, which are... Uh, this one, parallel, is number three, and this one is number five. However, there's a bit of an awkward moment because this one is one of the most popular in the polls, but uh, we do have a number of people uh, suggesting some pretty, uh, pretty uh, adult-related content in terms of this one. And I think when somebody says that, you can't unsee it, so we'll have to figure out what to do about this one. All right, but, but that's good to know. But I did take three of the options, and I went a little bit further in the branding just for uh, Imad and Justin to know that, uh, you know, these logos hopefully can work in a whole atmosphere of designs. So this one, which is pretty popular, I think there's a whole bunch of fun things we can do with these different shapes and then uh, some solid filled in colors behind. This one, you know, whatever, you can make some patterns. And then uh, this one, people were saying it's a little bit scary or... Uh, I don't know, negative, but I think it really does change when you add in the colors. Well, that's the first project on today's agenda. I'm gonna package all of this stuff into kind of a, a PDF and explain some of the downsides and what you guys have been saying about them as well. Uh, just to give a little bit of context for each one. Okie dokie artichokey, so what I've done is I put out like the two main logos and then some different options for it. And I've just written a quick highlight and possible con. Uh, this one is, it has a strong idea reinforcement uh, just because it's like two parallel things. Work. They look like they're working together, which is nice. So I, I removed the circles on that guy and honestly, I think that's pretty strong. Um, the highlight is that it looks pretty awesome <laughs> and that the shapes give way to kind of a cool branding. The overall shape might be hard to place just because it's so skinny down below and tall at the top. So if you need it to be like more that way, you can always change the position of the icon. That's what I'm gonna send off to Imad and Justin, see what they like. So Hot Pot, that's what I got, snot. I'm gonna send those off to uh, Imad and Justin, see what they think. And uh, please, keep the ideas coming. So with those just subtle changes I've made, let's do redo the poll with these guys. So uh, yeah, vote in the poll right now. Which one are you like? Uh, uh, this is the logo I've been working on for myself recently. Zimurai. <laughs> Next up on the agenda, we're working on some clothing brand designs for Tyler and Fatima. And last time, you guys liked three and seven, and they liked option seven, this one. And I'm gonna see um, what other improvements or options we can make. Although I don't really have too much direction in terms of changes. But so, uh, so I'll have to dig into the old cranial space here. <laughs> That? I don't think that's a thing. All right, let's see what we come up with. Okay, I thought that was gonna look a lot cuter. It just looks like it's bleeding. Oh, no. I've been working for a little while and I got two uh, these. Some of these I'm really excited about. Let's take a look. So this was the guy that we finished at last time. My th first thought was, and also there was a comment, so shout out to anybody. Uh, so shout out to the person who commented this. This was a, uh, an idea I was thinking about as well. If we have um, free candy inside the thing. But I wanted to make the actual candy Tootsie Roll look a little bit cooler, so I added these um, ends and then gave kind of highlight reflection things a little bit and I made a straight version and a rounded version I think usually these are like weird uh, caramel 
candies that uh, a nice old lady will give you on the bus, hopefully, if you're nice enough. I, I like the X idea from this one, so then I was playing with the idea of keeping the X's but making them a little bit more interesting. They all ideas to have kind of a drug-free nature, so I thought these make kind of like a a dead face. Oh, I don't know. It's quite edgy, maybe. Uh, so then I was thinking, you know, I like I like this layout as well. So maybe we put our new candy in here as that layout, and here's one with the new X's and straight up, and then here's kind of a round one. That's a fun idea, I think. Another X behind is kind of interesting, but uh, yeah. So that's what I have so far. I think some of these are pretty cool ideas. My favorite probably right now, if you ask me. I don't know what it'll be tomorrow, but right now I'm really digging like this one and one of these guys. I like those and I also kind of like that. I don't know, I like all of them right now. Okay, what I want to do right now is I want to find a new t-shirt. Last time I was doing these white long sleeve t-shirts. This time I want to try something a little bit cooler, maybe a hoodie or, or something, a jacket to put it on. Well, so uh, let me let me peruse the interwebs and see what I can find. Ah, okay, so I grabbed this shirt and this sweatshirt. So I'm gonna put all the designs on the shirt and t-shirt and hopefully try to make it look pretty cool. So uh, let's go. <laughs> Bada bang! Bada bang bong. Cool. Blokey dokey artichokey, those are the one, two, san opciones for a free candy brand. I may or may not go to the corner right now and try to buy some candy. I wish it was free. Anyways, vote in the poll right now which one you think would be the best option out of Three, one, or two. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, before I forget, Dom and Alex will be facing off uh, probably, hopefully, this Friday for Design Chicken Chicken. And I've finished the prompt, so here it is. You can pause the video and read through it if you would like to do it uh, before before their chicken dance. And if you wanna uh, post it to the grams, you can tag me, and I'll try to include it uh, in the before part before the chicken dance begins. Okay, good luck. So uh, that's it for me for today, Design Champions. Thank you so much for being here and filling out the polls and being all cool and whatnot, like the usual. <laughs> Keep going on your design projects. Uh, I hope it all goes fantastically well and you have a really nice day. So uh, stay awesome, possum, and I'll see you later, Alan. <laughs> ah, doesn't hurt. But also I didn't press it that hard. <laughs> okay, bye guys.